my Arduino clone board or clone kit from China finally came in today. So let's open it up and take a look at what it has. It's got a nice little plastic case here. I guess a list of stuff that's included. Okay. So I'll put that off to the side. We got some resistors here. Uh, breadboard. More resistors. It's like 20 there. The first one was 10. Another 10 here. These cool little blue resistors. <laughs> Most of mine are brown. Um, some header pins. And what do we have up here? I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe this is the uh, motor controller board. I don't know if we can get a look inside. I'm, I'm not going to open it just yet. Um, I'll keep it in the um, anti-static packaging. And what do we got over here? Okay. Looks like push buttons. And some LEDs. And little caps for the push buttons. Different colors. A potentiometer. Variable resistor. So it's got some neat stuff there. And here we've got some... Okay, I think these are some of the specialist, specialized components. Uh, this, maybe this is the tilt sensor. If we can get a look at that at all. Um, and these I'm going to have to identify. I think some of them are photo resistors, um, an infrared receiver, maybe. There's also a flame sensor. And I think that, from what I looked up on Google, that actually senses flames, so I guess you could build a circuit that tells you whether your house is on fire. Um, okay, and it's got this little tray on top. You can take that out. And inside we've got the 9 volt battery plug with the barrel jack that goes into the Arduino clone. Um, here's another little board. Uh, what's that one do? Compass. I don't know. Let me slide. Oh, that's the um, liquid crystal display. Yeah, I think it's got three lines. Uh, it's got a USB cable, so it's got the old. This isn't used much, but what is it? The um, mini, I guess, connector as opposed to the micro. I may be wrong on that. There's a little infrared keypad. So you can control stuff and receive it, I guess, with the infrared receiver doohickey. Um, we got some more display stuff. So there's an LED grid um, and a seven times four segment LED display and a chip here. What is that? It's probably a driver for it. Let's see. Do, 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 do. One five three eight. X or HXL SN74 HC595. I don't know, that may be some kind of driver or parallel or something. I'll have to look that up. I don't know if I, it identifies it here on the list. I'm not seeing it. Uh, it just says, yeah, 74HC595. So I'll look that up. Um, what else do we have? These, I think, go with this. So this is the uh, stepper motor, I believe. No, wait, it's the servo. Okay, yeah, this is the servo, and that's why it has these little blades that you can put on it to rotate any degree you want and stay in that position. Here's the stepper motor. Seems like it's built pretty well. Got the connector. So I think that other thing probably was the stepper motor driver, that board that I didn't identify before. Uh, another seven segment display. This one probably got loose from this uh, little foam here. Let's fix this bent lead and plug it into this. Come on. Anyway, I'll put it in there for now. Uh, we got another mini breadboard that has the 
connectors so that you can use it as a shield for the Arduino. That's really cool. Plug it down on top of the Arduino and breadboard up a small circuit. I like that. Um, it's got this weird little case that I'd seen a guy describing in his own YouTube unboxing video. So I think you, how do you work it? You push it or pull it and it pops up. Yeah, there we go. Pull it. So it's a little component box. I guess that can be kind of handy when you got five or six resistors and capacitors and stuff and you don't want them falling all over the place. Pop them in here and close it and carry it around in a nice little case. Uh, we got the wires, the leads, so you can with the so you can plug into the breadboard, little jumpers, I guess. Um, these look to be all male. I don't see any female ones in here. Let's see what it says on the list. Flame sensor, 30 times jumper wires. Anyway, it's got a lot of colors. And finally, the Arduino. I think I will go ahead and take that out of the static thing just to take a look at it. Hopefully I won't fry it. So let's have a look. So it's supposed to be pretty compatible with the Uno. It's called Uno, but it's not a real Arduino. And I think from what I read, it actually has another AT Mega, a really tiny AT Mega here that's driving the USB to um, serial and the AT Mega 328 itself. It's got the same configuration as an Uno and the jumper or the jack for the power USB. So this lo looks uh, pretty cool. Turn it around. So yeah, I'm going to have to play with it tonight and see what I can come up with. Anyway, that's all. Thanks for watching.